Good Morning Church. For those of you who don't know me, who have stumbled across this video somehow, my name is Richard, I'm the pastor at Viola Baptist Church and I just want to share one or two things with you as we come together to worship online this morning. The first thing I want to share with you is that some changes to the way we manage COVID is coming in on the 28th of December, which means it'll affect the way we gather together on uh, January the 2nd. Um, we're being asked as a church to decide about what we do with non-vaccinated people. So uh, they're asking us to, uh, to make decisions about how we worship together. If we want to worship to, as uh, solely fully vaccinated people, then we are able to come together and sing. If we want to include people who are not fully vaccinated, then we cannot sing together. Uh, there may be some other things we do and leadership will be praying about this and, uh, and talking amongst one another and finding out perhaps what other options there are for us. Uh, one of those things might be for us to worship outside uh, where it's uh, freer for all people to, uh, to sing and to gather together. Um, just like we've done in the past, the principles that will be guiding us will be how can we uh, love God the best, love our neighbour the best, and love one another the best. And so they'll be our, our guiding principles moving forward. Um, I just really want to ask that you pray for us as we make that decision. Um, it's certainly not something that any of us really want to make. There's no way we want to be excluding people if we can at all. So um, please pray for us. Please pray that we will have uh, God's wisdom in this. Rather than have a separate time of prayer this morning, I, we just, I just thought we would uh, just tack that on here. As you know, if you're familiar with Wyala Baptist Church, we like to spend a significant time of our uh, part of our time together on a Sunday praying for our city. And um, that's one of the things I love the most about Wyala Baptist Church is that we are a church who values prayer, not just by saying we value prayer, but by praying. And so um, I would encourage you when you gather together to to watch this, to spend some of your time together praying for Wyala, praying for this city. The thing which I'd like us to focus on is not simply that um, uh, Wyala as a city needs Jesus because we, we know that Wyala as a city needs Jesus. But we want to just focus our prayer today, Father, on uh, people on this, um, on a part of our community which probably struggles the most during the Christmas season. Not everyone in Wyala uh, is filled with joy every Christmas. For some, it's a painful time. For some, it's, it brings out uh, memories of painful situations. For some families, even uh, worshipping uh, and coming together yesterday to celebrate uh, Christmas has been a challenge for them. For some, there has been uh, arguments, there's been fights that have occurred, there's been broken relationships. I want to pray that, um, that this period, this holiday season, uh, might be a time of reconciliation, might be a time of, um, of hope, of coming together, might be a time when, uh, when healing happens and when forgiveness is both offered and sought and... Uh, yeah, relationships come together. So I would encourage you to join me in prayer now and, uh, and perhaps to, when this segment has finished, spend a bit of time with those who you're with, praying for people who uh, are just suffering during this season. Father God, I want to thank you so much for what you've done for us in Jesus. I want to thank you that in his coming is hope, and peace and joy and love. 
Father God, I pray, Lord, that as we bring to mind today uh, people perhaps in our streets, Father, our neighbours, Father, perhaps members of our family, Father, perhaps even ourselves. Father, we pray, Lord, for, uh, for those for whom Christmas is not a season of joy but a season of strife. We pray for those for whom Christmas is not a time of love and togetherness, but rather it's a remembrance of brokenness and pain. Father, we pray, Lord, that during this, cross, during this Christmas season, Father, that um, you will help these, this group of people, you would help them to, um, to see the hope and the goodness that come into this world through Jesus. We pray, Lord, that those who have been wronged, Father, might be able to reach out and offer forgiveness to the people who have wronged them. We pray, Lord, that your spirit might be at move during this time. And we pray, Father, that you might even use your children, your people, to, uh, to be a bridge that others might find the hope that we have in Jesus. Father, we, uh, we bow our head, we bow our knee. We ask that you might work uh, mighty miracles. Father, yeah, pour out your spirit, we pray. We long to see your work in Wayala in ways that will change this city, that it might be known for righteousness and peace and goodness. Father, we, uh, we bow in it. We, uh, we offer our prayers to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. See you later on.